hello hello I'm here again <laughs> and I wanted to share today my blessings this is my backyard and I thought that I wanted to share it with you today it is beautiful outside and when nature calls me I come to meditate out here under the tree and the water and all the elements the plants it's like they talk they speak and I listen and so besides that we have the word we have a tendency in our lives to fulfill different things depending on where you are today it could be a relationship it could be uh, a condition in your body and we are after fixing all of these things outside of our ourselves and sometimes we haven't found the root of it. And I want to share with you a little bit of my story so you can kind of understand that I was there too. Uh, at a certain point in my life, I had a, a turning point, something that kind of broke my spirit. And of course, after that, um, that was it course it touched my heart and my emotions were like I started struggling and then I got sick and it was like I was going down the hill all the way to the bottom let's put it this way and when I got to that place I realized that um, I was in this state that I had created myself of course because I didn't know how to get out of there I didn't even know who or how to be helped. And so when I decided to leave this space, this reality that I was building based on what happened to me, I took a journey. And the journey started by, okay, I have this, this condition in my body, I need to first take care of my body. So that's what I did. I, as I was learning new tools to balance my body right I changed my my nutrition into holistic and organics and then I also started to do a different sort of workouts that I got into yoga and to Pilates it's just like I did all of this transformation to get my body into balance again then I said okay I need to also part of that energy that was dragging right so I decided to go into Tai Chi and Qigong breathing exercises more yoga more into these other practices to help me balance and and they did as, as much as I was doing I was improving then of course I thought I needed to work with my mind I say okay this is done that's done like I'm, I was fixing one thing at a time when I got to my mind I decided to become a life coach and I had also certifications on all the other things that I was, as I was doing I was learning and I was also facilitating and teaching I decided to become a life coach to help myself uh, work with my mind and yes at, after all of this journey I felt my body strong, my energy balanced, and my thoughts very positive, and I was just like so motivated and inspired by reading and by doing and by feeling connected. But there was, there was one thing that I was still missing, and that was kind of, it was like a call that would come from the depth of my being and that was my soul my soul was calling me was telling me Maya yes you did that part that part you're doing great but you still haven't done what you were you are supposed to do if you really want to change that feeling because everything was fine it seemed but that emotion was still there. I wasn't able to change that because it was really, really deep, really deep. 
And so to change that, I decided to take into a new journey. I said, okay, my soul is telling me that I need to go deeper. And I did. I just jump into the ocean of my unconsciousness <laughs> to find all of the memories, not only from my own past, because we came to blame it all. Oh, in my childhood, I felt like I needed this and I didn't have that. Or we tend to blame it on our parents because they didn't give me this or that and I lacked this or that or whatever. But it didn't start there. It started beyond your parents. It actually started in the humanity, you know, we, we have been carrying all the unresolved memories from our ancestors, you know, our ancestors, I'm sorry. And those memories, we are still pulsing within ourselves. So part of that story, my turning point, my break point, was related to my ancestors more than to what happened to me. Yes, it happened to me. I, I, the, my experiences throughout life were very connected to that past. So I needed to heal that and I had to go deep into the journey through family constellations. That's, that was the tool that I used and I actually became a facilitator as well. And yes, definitely I'm so thankful that I found this tool that I could transcend my deepest suffering that I couldn't consciously recognize and I could let it go in a way with gratitude and understanding, comprehension, more than understanding is a comprehension. Also because to transform or to transcend the suffering, the pain from your soul you cannot just understand it. You cannot just say, oh, that's what's happening to me or that's what happened to me. The soul needs an experience, an experience that allows the transformation to happen. And that's what we do when, do, when we do constellations. So I created a journey of seven steps. And those seven steps help us identify those roots that we are connected to because every system is connected to certain roots that are stronger than others. So it's important to understand them, to find yours, the ones you are connected to and how they are affecting your life today, your relationships, your health, your finances, your goals. And then from there, you can start doing the work <laughs> because I'm not saying that it's going to be as easy as this because it's not you need to confront yourself with what what it was and what has been happening to you to be able to change it and but once you change it it's that you become the peace itself the the liberation itself, it's like, you don't feel liberated, you become that freedom, you become that. It's, it's the state that kind of like sits within you and it doesn't go away anymore. It, it is something that maybe your ancestors couldn't do, but maybe just you can do for them. So I want to invite you to try it if you haven't maybe taken this journey or if you feel this call, you know, you have this maybe states of anxiety, stress, sadness, depression. It's like, yeah, I have everything that I need around me, but there's something that I still feel like this emptiness this gap. So if you feel that, maybe you're ready for this call, for your soul call. <laughs> and I'm here, <laughs> a server that decided to help others instead of taking the long path to take the shorter path because yes, you can cut it, 
doesn't seem that it's going to be easier because no matter if you take the long one or the short one, you still have to confront it. <laughs> I'm being honest. <laughs> that's what it is. That's what we have to do. We came to do that actually. We came to help healing what maybe our ancestors couldn't. So that's my invitation to do. That's what I wanted to share today in my meditation and in these words. If they resonate with you and you say, hmm, maybe that's what my soul was trying to tell me and I couldn't figure it out until she there is telling me what I need to do. <laughs> so if you decide, you can visit my website, mayadaridelsoul.com or also my website on Family Constellations is called familytreeconstellations.com or mayadaridelsoul.com. Now the journey to the soul that I'm doing in English because I'm right now I'm delivering the Spanish Spanish version and we will be finishing by September so I decided to go and do go ahead and do the English version by November so I'm just announcing just in case you decide to do it and if this is your call maybe leave your information here, connect with me through my website mayadaridelsol.com or through my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Meetup, YouTube. I have information content about all of these things that I'm talking today, how we are connected to the past and how we can reconciliate it because that's what we're trying to do, reconciliate the past. That's the healing that we are looking so we can really transform, transcend that and uh, from that new state we can recreate our, our world, our destiny, our reality. So that's all, that's all I wanted to share today. Thank you for listening <laughs> and I'll see you next time around. Blessings.